What's up guys, Cody here, back with another Ethereal video, today discussing potential item builds for Talos. If you haven't already seen the Talos Spotlight, go watch it so you have an understanding of why I'm choosing certain items. So without further ado, let's begin. In my opinion, Talos is best suited for a bruiser-like playstyle. He wants to be able to deal lots of AoE damage with his abilities, but be tanky enough to survive being in the thick of the fight. So I'll be prioritizing anything with health and damage early on, and rounding off the back half of the build with heavier tank items. For early game, Berserker's Shield is a must buy as a first or second item. Berserker's Shield is an amazing bruiser item, providing damage up front, survivability in the back, a must have for any bruiser. Blood Draining Scythe is a great follow up to Berserker's Shield. The Scythe gives us health and damage in addition to giving us physical lifesteal. And assuming I'm understanding this correctly and it hasn't changed, physical lifesteal applies on all physical damage sources, including abilities. So, for Blood Draining Scythe, it's going to give us a lot of staying power as long as we can keep dishing out damage. For other early game items, there's nothing like those two, but we do have Perhelion Havoc and Quartering's Edge. They're both items that give good early stats and have passives that scale into the mid and late game. Perhelion Havoc works well with Talos' kit, since we can apply the item's passive very easily onto multiple people with our AoE abilities. Quartering's Edge is the same concept, Except the item is a bit more situational, you're only picking up Quartering's Edge if you need the anti-heal. And then, if you're playing Talos in the jungle, you'll be picking up Mark of the Fail Predator as your first item. It gives us more bruiser stats, as well as giving us move speed, which is something Talos really appreciates. And, once again, its passive works well with the kit. You could get Mark of the Sentinel Hunter instead, but you lose out on those early game stats, and there's other ways that you can deal with CC. For boots, Iron Boots and Swift Shoes are going to be your typical boots of choice. If you're jungling, you can also opt to get Reinforced Shoes or Reinforced Boots to traverse the map more easily. As for the back half of the build, Tank Items. The choices here are mostly situational, picking up whatever you feel like you need to to deal with the enemy team. However, I do have a few items that you should probably always consider. First up is Harvey's Backplated Chest Guard. The item by itself is pretty weak and is most likely unviable in every other myth. But on Talos, this item becomes very strong. The main problem with the item is that the amount of resistances you need to get substantial value from its passive is not feasible slash effective through items alone. But Talos doesn't have to worry about that since its passive grants of resistances per kill and assist, directly buffing this item. Another item to keep your eye on is Hollow Shield. This item can give you up to a 1000 health shield if 25 abilities have been cast around you. Which is ridiculously easy and I won't be surprised if this item gets nerfed in the future. This passive procs when you fall below 30% health. Meaning it shares synergy with Blood Draining Scythe whose passive also procs at 30% health. With this combo, when you drop low on HP, you'll get a large shield to take damage for you while you heal back up with the extra life that you get from the Scythe. And finally, we've got Amulet of the Ancients, Gauntlet of Fear, and Disruptive Shield. These all have small AoE effects around the player, which Talos can utilize well by jumping into the middle of the enemy team at the start of a fight. Amulet of the Ancients prevents enemies escaping from you if the item gets propped. The downside though is that the stats on the amulet aren't as good as other items. Gauntlet of Fear is an extremely powerful tank item that if the enemy decides to CC you, they're getting feared for a full second as long as you're standing next to them. And a one second AoE CC can make a huge difference in a fight. And then Disruptive Shield dishes out the damage that you take to everyone around you. Adding on to your AoE damage and synergizing with your other items that give us strong survivability and staying power in fights. The longer we survive, the more damage Disruptive Shield is going to do. So that's it for my Talos item guide. I did want to discuss how Talos would fare in the jungle and solo lane. However, I've decided to hold off on that and save it for the podcast I'm doing, which Hopefully we'll be out this Thursday. Otherwise, we have the Orin reveal to look forward to on Friday, which should be interesting, and I'm very excited to see what his kit is. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more ethereal content. And remember, I do stream over on Twitch most evenings. Link in the description below. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.